But before that, I'm going to give a short talk about the ego's purpose for relationships. <laughs> yeah, the, the dark side of the, the coin. Remember how the Course in Miracles talks about the whole world of separation was made as a hiding place. And a place where we could have other bodies. to project our guilt onto, to get rid of our guilt and keep our sense of separation from God. This was the ego's purpose. So relationships with others are kind of built into the whole ego script. We need others to project our guilt onto, so we need relationships. That's its purpose. And the other part of the ego script is that we, the small self, becomes an innocent victim of a cruel world. So I become the innocent victim, and anyone out there, anyone I'm in relationship with, whether it's the, the bartender in the bar, or the bus driver, or the one that you sleep with, it's all the same. They're the bad guy, and we're the innocent victim, and we're trying to establish our sense of self, re-establish or reconfirm our sense of self every time we relate to another. And what better way to do that than in relationships? To prove I'm an innocent victim, that you're doing it to me. Can it also be the other way you feel you are the victim? No, you are the bad guy. Oh yes. But the ego is always trying to get rid of that. To get rid of the pain and to establish my sense of individuality. It will always try and get back to that. But there are moments where we feel, feel guilty. The other big thing which we're going to look at a lot today is that when we split from God, when we split from our source, Immediately we had this sense of lack. We cut off our source, we cut off the love from God, from our Father. So as soon as we are a separated self, and most especially in a body, we come in with this sense of lack. We feel it most when we get born, we separate, individuate from our mother. All our needs suddenly come into play whereas before they were supplied by the mother. So as soon as we're a separate body, we have a tremendous amount of needs all the time, ranging from oxygen to food to love to touch to be heard, and on and on and on. I'm going to read two or three quotes, which is on the handout that many of you have had from last year, and those who are new, you see, I will give you the handout later. The ego establishes relationships only to get something. So all the time, unconsciously or even consciously, we're trying to get our needs met by another or by others. And the Course goes on to say, it talks about special relationships, which is the ego's function, and holy relationships, which is what we're working towards. So holy and unholy, unholy being the special relationship. For an unholy relationship is based on differences. So we see ourselves as different from the other. Where each one thinks the other has what he has not. So I think you have something that I want. Whether it's love or touch or to be heard, whatever it is, I see it that I can get my needs met out there. They come together, each to complete himself, and rob the other. We'll explain that a little bit more later. 
They stay until they think there is nothing left to steal and then they move on. So when we think we can't get something from another, we move on to somebody else. But does it ever work? Getting our needs met by another? Can another make us happy? Has it ever worked? All relationships in this world begin as special relationships. Because the ego always speaks first. Since they begin with the perception of separation and differences. Clearly we think we're separate and that we're different. Which must then be corrected by the Holy Spirit through forgiveness, making the relationships holy. So this is our goal in relationships, is to change the purpose and to make them holy. Specialness has two forms. Special hate and special love. Special hate justifies the projection of guilt by attack. Remember, we want to get rid of the guilt and project it onto the other. And the ego says, well, I have a right to do that. You've hurt me or you've done this to me, so I have a right to attack you, make you the guilty one. That's special hate. Special love, which is perhaps the more clever ego trick, special love conceals the attack within the illusion of love, where we believe our special needs are met by special people with special attributes for which we love them. So you have what I think I need, and I, so I love you for it. Until you stop giving it to me, then I hate you, and then attack you. So it's not real love. It's just two sides of the same coin, flipping back and forward. And this, you could say, is probably 99% of relationships in the world. And it's all totally unconscious. And this is why relationships don't work. This is why everyone, not everyone, but most people are miserable in relationships. And all leave eventually. So that was nice and short. 